That was a stupid decision. Well, well all right. Welcome, welcome back. back. So we are at the old paper mill ruins in Marietta. Yeah, it's Marietta Paper Mill. Mm -hmm. It was built in 1855. That was about right. And then put into production in 1858 produced all of the fine paper it was called the rag mill because they used old cotton rags and linen to make the paper to make the paper so it produced all of the fine writing materials for the south part for the southern u.s but uh and it was the largest it was the largest the largest paper mill in the state and then when the civil war happened and uh, there were rumors circulating that this actually had become a Confederate mint. Mm -hmm. um, General Sherman, on his way on his campaign through Atlanta, here to, comes the Sherman to burn to burn Atlanta, was like, "Yo, y'all go burn that place down because he didn't want anything still standing that could, you know, help the Confederacy later on." So the mill was burnt down in 1864. Um, it was rebuilt a couple of years later. I think it was four years later. Four maybe. years later, yeah, 1868. Mm -hmm. They rebuilt, they went back into produ production, doing paper again. Um, they did tissue paper, wrapping paper, all kinds of stuff. Paper. Paper, paper. And then in uh, 18... What long after 1870, that? an employee inadvertently caused a fire which burnt down half of the mill again. Mm -hmm. So it took four months, but they rebuilt it and they put it back into production. Well, a couple of years later, coincidentally, another fire breaks out. And uh, by this point, the company that owned it was suffering pretty hard financially because, you know, your mill's been burnt down three times and you've had to rebuild it all three times. So. They rebuilt it again, they put it back into production, and this time this was at the advent of um, pulpwood. using pulpwood, and there was a plethora of pine trees, so they went from using hardwood trees for the linens and stuff like, for the linen papers and stuff like that, to using the pine, and that kept them financially solvent for a bit, also the production of twine, right. um, but then they just couldn't do it anymore, so... They went bankrupt, it got sold at auction, and then it eventually just fell to ruin. It ended, it closed down in 1902, and so it's been sitting ever since. Yep. But it is beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. Couldn't beat the location. I mean, yep. they say location, location, location. Yeah, it's right on the, the river here. And it's so pretty. Cold, it's, but pretty. There's a lot still to look at. So yeah, there is. Highly recommend it. Yep. 10 out of 10. Yeah, the walking trails are, are really easy so far. They're, they're a little well, rooty, hilly, look. but they're not too bad. It's not like climbing a mountain. I'm not sure-footed, so mm -hmm. it, you know, I have to pick my way through. But other than that, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, and it's uh, $5 parking yeah. for one day. Or you can get an annual pass for all the parks. Which we should do. We, we haven't done do. yet. But. Since we go to a lot of parks, we should actually invest mm -hmm. in, I think it's 40 bucks. Yeah. That might be something we, uh, we go ahead and do. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It let's is. Explore a little bit more. Yeah, let's check it out. Fly it off. So, maybe I can't fly the drone here neither. <laughs> it's National Forest. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just on the river down well, there. I figured it was state, but it's not. Well, you know, if it says I can take off, I'm taking off. <laughs> it is cold. It's a little chilly out today. A little? Got some, oh, look. Got some root itch. Roots of death. Ooh. So this hiking trail is supposed to be easy. It's pretty easy so far. It's only a mile and a half round trip. From what we gather. Yeah. Well, from but, the site. But there's more than one trail. So uh, whenever you pull in the parking lot and you go up to the signage, there's a little trail to the left that carries you to the paper mill ruins. So we're gonna walk down here. I don't think it's gonna be very far. And uh, check her out. 
We don't know what's even left. I think it's just some columns. I don't know. But uh, when, when did you say it was out of production, 1905? 1902. 1902. It was built in 55. Actually, 53. Of what, 18? Yeah. <laughs> well, if it's out of production in 1902, <laughs> Tommy. Well, yeah. Gotta be clear. Time traveling. I like time traveling. All right, I guess we'll be back. They say when you find the white feathers, though, that's like, it's your angels. Well, there's another one over there. <laughs> there's a scuffle <laughs> spot in the dirt. Yeah, it there. looks like a kerfuffle happened. Yeah, I don't think so. Right there. Yeah, look. I don't think it made it. Oh, poor thing. Poor thing. Oh, there it is. It's a beautiful trail. Yeah. Easy walking. Well, I mean, it's a little rooty, but it is easy. You want them to pave it? You want to ruin nature? <coughs> Shut up, Tom. <laughs> it's a nice wide trip. This poor little trip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my water because it's a short trail, but it's so cold out here. And it, oh, that woodpecker's close somewhere up there anyway now I got this dry spot in my throat you have to save your spit and swallow it. I ain't got no spit because my throat's dry there's another woodpecker over here it's like woodpecker heaven oh I think I I don't see it but I think I know what tree it's on There's two of them. There's one over here too. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if we spotted a pileated? Eighteen fifty-five. I don't know. Do what? They used all the trees up. Oh, I'm sure. They do have these markers every so often. So we turn left right here. We go that way. I think this is the ruins. Right here. So we got left? Yeah. Are you sure? Positive. All right. I'm negotiating or <clears throat> navigating. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> oh. Well, you could be negotiating the trail. I am, and I'm navigating it at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes the rattlers will come out and sun, sun themselves. Uh, I see something in the wood, big ass <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this isn't out in the middle of the wilderness. So I think this just carries us back by the road. And then we gotta get it down the side of the road. What number did I say that was? 26? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. You're not into the wild. Unless you want to call real housewives of Atlanta wild mount. Yeah, look at that house in there. I don't know if I can zoom in good enough for anybody to see it. I mean, that one's pretty big too. Let's see. Maybe. It's about five stories. But I don't think it communicates well on video. I 
think I'm here at Nut Hatches. Yeah, not exactly. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Why did the trail go that way though? Why did it just come straight down? <laughs> Oh, no. Betty got struck by lightning. I don't know if that's part of the mill or if that's part of just old Marietta. Period. But it's cool. Two complaints. There is no bathrooms on this trail and I gotta pee as usual. And there's no benches. It's not a long trail, but it's a uh, very hilly. It is not handicap accessible at all. Wow, look at this tree. It's definitely seen better days. It's still ticking. Still ticking. All the people who's carved on it. Head all the way up there. Yeah, it's not a long trail at all, but it is not the easiest trail I've ever walked. So here we are. It would be picturesque if you didn't have that. Still, it's pretty. Goes all the way down to the creek. There's ice on the ground. Whew. Quite a few people out here too. This is too cool. I'm trying to swallow past that dry spot in my throat. At least you can get right here at it. Yeah, I'll run it Definitely worth the hike. And there's Soap Creek. Look at there. Too cool. It's a bad angle because of the sun. I'm guessing that was where they had it dammed at. Side. And that is pretty ding dang cool. Well, it depends on which time <laughs> it was put there. Was it put there the first time it burned down? The second time it burned down? Or the third time? Or the third time it burned down? Unlike Mr. Surefoot here, I gotta watch where I walk. Or I will bust my behind. Tommy is not feeling well today. Probably part of it somehow. So neat. There's quite a few people out here. Yeah, standing around. Well, I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, that's all I'm going to do. We can stand around.
That tree's growing right out of that rock. I don't know the uh, info thing didn't have any specs on it. Yeah. I found a bench, an 1800s one, but a bench nevertheless. Wow. Slightly different from 1950. To now? Yeah. So the ruins are both sides of Slope Creek. So that side and this side. Oh, or actually, the meal. So it was really big, but I mean, it did have a lot of rooms in it, though. Yeah. It had a production room, um, a mill room, an oil room, a pulp room. I can't remember the other ones. Crumbling remnants stand like a lost castle in the forest. Did you write that? <laughs> Just a short walk down the road. The collapsing walls, stone foundations, and waterways are evidence of a large industrial complex that flourished here. Ruins lie along both sides of Soap Creek, best known as the Marietta Paper Mill. Powered by the stream, it produced twine, newsprint, and paper used for Confederate currency. This was a prominent military target. It, it was destroyed by Union troops during the Civil War. What you think? <clears throat> no, I don't really think you do. Coming down there, but I gotta watch. It's icy. Yeah, it's a little icy. <clears throat> we all know how these shoes do. <laughs> all, wet. all wet stuff. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I think you're right. I, th I don't think you have to. You need a drone yeah. angle from here. How cool of their modern day dynasty mansions. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's pretty rad. Rad? Rad. Rad. Word of the day. Rad. No, word of the day is spuddle, remember? Oh, yeah. Spuddle. We are master spudlists. Yep. Other ways you can get to here too. A couple of different trails. Thomas said, it's like it was two different buildings. And it kind of does. Boy, cool, cool. Are you the king of the world? I'm sure somewhere there was a door at one time. Maybe. Oh, God. Tommy, what are you going to do if that wall crumbles? Get off of there. Do what? That wall could crumble on you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to take the hard trail. Might regret it. <laughs> but... It's pretty. Well, that was a stupid decision, but I made it <laughs> through the woods. <clears throat> yeah, I know. See, I think we circumvented that. But, so there's another little ruin formation down there or up there. I swear to God, I will divorce you. <laughs> That's almost <laughs> as bad as littering and mass thing it's disgusting and it kills birds so you bird killer mm -hmm. <laughs> assholes i did it you ain't done nothing well yet. i think we're done with the hard part now i guess back to the easy hopefully <laughs> don't ever do this without bringing your water stupid 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 that's a cool tree yeah it is
<laughs> the French horn? Yeah. It's got a nice little picnic grill area. Yeah. Right at the trailhead in the parking lot. Alright, paper mill. Check. Walked a trail about kick my ass. Check, check. I mean, it was no Sawney Mountain, but it did have its challenges. I'm not sure if it did. Tommy is. But, uh, yeah, it was, a good, it was a good trail. I liked it. Wasn't disappointed. 10 out of 10. Tommy? Can't see me. Tommy? Yep. Would you do it again? Yeah, I'd like to go back and uh, explore more on the back side and the other side. And there's a lot of people out there. It's kind of surprising. Yeah. That, um, the parking lot was full when we came out. So, I mean, it's, it's a happening place. It is. Everybody decided, I guess, to leave at the same time, too. So, I guess, like, 1234 is the magic, like, hour for everybody to decide to, to get out of there. But it was fun. I liked it. Well, well all, all right. right. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> this was a pretty interesting place to go. And it I really was. It was really cool. I love the pictures that you found of it. Thank you. That, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Photo so credit to whoever you I... You kind of really don't get the, the whole thing while you're there. So Yeah. Pretty they were cool. on Pinterest, but I had to verify that that was actually the mill, and it was the mill. We so. just say it is. Who cares? It looks <laughs> great. <laughs> looks good in the picture. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting place. And the walk down there was, I thought, uh, really nice, it, even though it was cold. But think, too, if you go in the summertime, yeah, it's going to be all overgrown. Yeah. So, we picked it perfect. But look, y'all, I trip going up our hallway. <laughs> so, when I say I'm not sure-footed, I, I mean that I'm not sure-footed. I literally, all my life, I'm clumsy. Always have been. I was probably always will be. But um, it, it was definitely worth going out there to see. Yeah. If you're like me, then you probably don't want to be down. just slow down you probably don't want to be videoing you know you want to watch your feet but you but, know but still. if you think about <clears throat> all the work that went into that place yeah it's incredible that they only had 45 years of production kind yeah. of blows your mind because they rebuilt it three times yeah just for 45 45 years of production yeah. so yep. yeah it sucks. was it was freaking amazing though and you know really it's the closest thing that we have because we see all these travel vlogs from you know, Wales and Scotland and Ireland and, you know, it's all these ancient ruins. and this is from the 13th century. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we ain't got that like We don't that. have anything like that. <laughs> that's probably about as close. That's the, that's, the, that's the trail we went up, you know. But, yeah, it was, it was great. It was definitely yep. worth it. So, if, you know, if you're in that area, I hope you'll go out and yep. check it out. You can go out and spend a good Sunday out there. You won't yep. be the only one. There's a yep. lot of people around. $5 parking. Yep. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time, bye-bye. Stay spicy. Join us next time as we visit Clarksville, Georgia, home to one of the oldest cemeteries in the area, and also the final resting place of what is called the meanest man in Georgia. After that, we visit downtown Clarksville and the beautiful Welcome Center that showcases life in North Georgia from primitive to modern day. From there we head into the beautiful Alpine village of Helen, Georgia for lunch.